Good morning. So it's a bit of a later start um, than the previous vlogs. It's actually 20 past 10. Um, we've had one of those mornings. Uh, so f was sick this morning. Why is the light not coming on? There we go. So if we're sick this morning, um, I think only because I literally laid her down to change her um, after she just had some milk and she coughed and it was just all bad timing. So yeah, I didn't vlog anything this morning because it was very much just a kind of keeping an eye on her and seeing how she was. So anyways, Enzo is just down for a nap. Um, and Soph is also in bed because she said to me, now I don't think she knew necessarily what she was saying or meant it. Um, for those of you who may be new around here, Soph is, um, has global development delay and speech delay, so as part of that, so she doesn't communicate very much at the moment and she's just learning a few kind of words um, and she's been learning like I want and then we're trying to like get a third word on the end and she just kept saying Baba, Baba, which is her bed this bed bed which we've kind of learned over the last week couple of weeks and then she said today she was like i want bed bed not that clearly <laughs> um that would have been incredible but i was like well who am i to say no i need to affirm her saying something like that has an action if you if that makes sense to get her to realize that if she says things like that something happens um, but anyway, so while she's in bed and Enzo is down for a nap, I thought this would be prime opportunity to share with you the things that we have got for them for Christmas. So I asked on Instagram if you'd like to see this as pretty much the whole vlog. Almost like, I know people do standalone videos of like what they've got their kids for Christmas, but I'm not going to do that. This is very much going to be kind of vloggy style and there may be stuff tagged on the end of this video. I don't know yet. But anyways, I'm going to share with you the stuff that is in Santa's Grotto. Um, I shared with you a few things the other day that my dad had picked up for them. They are right in front of me. So the first thing, I'm actually going to put a picture of on the screen now because it is literally right behind you and it's underneath a bunch of other crap and I don't want to make a load of noise and have to Jenga it back. So I got the Inspire My Play like tray thing this most of this stuff is like for both of them so Enzo's birthday is Christmas Eve then obviously we've got Christmas and then Sophia's birthday is in the middle of January so they're all very close together they're both kind of developed that developmentally at the same kind of stage so a lot of this is for both of them so I might not necessarily say this is for her and this is for him sort of thing and there are like certain things that are but they are obviously going to play with both things together so anyway predominantly got the tray thing for her because she is a sensory seeker um she loves any kind of sensory play and stuff like that and i figured this would be like a fun thing obviously it's like imaginative like you can use it in so many different ways like you could use it for messy play you can use it for like sorting because it's got like the little divider things inside the tray um and stuff like that so my dad picked up you would have seen this if you watched one of my other vlogs these um bowls they're from the same inspire my inspire my play brand um they're just like little silicone bowls so they're to kind of go with that so she can play with like water and i don't know other things with that and then we got her let me just grab the basket down oh goodness so we picked her up the um scoops to go with it so this is the like coral colorway i think and they're really cute because they like go they stack together so there's three different scoops in there um and obviously they're like really soft so they'd be good for kind of both of them to play with so yeah we've got her those to go with it and also these to go with it 
um, just two packs of kinetic sand. This is from the brand Smooshy Sand, so it's like a more eco brand. Got the tray and these and the scoops from the brand The Kid Collective or the website The Kid Collective. Um, I absolutely love their website. Um, obviously a lot of their stuff is targeted kind of more like eco um, and stuff like that so I really do like that kind of aspect. So we've got those things to kind of go together but then I also picked her up this which to be Hello. To be fair, it does seem like a little bit too old for her, but I loved it. <laughs> it's a little wooden camper van by the brand Le Toy Van, and oh, I just think it's the most adorable little thing ever. Can you see that? Uh, you can take the little roof off and like play with little characters. Like I say, she's totally not there yet, but hopefully at some point throughout kind of next year, she'll maybe start playing with things like that, I don't know. That's the really difficult thing when you've got a child that's birthday is so close to Christmas because a lot changes in 12 months. So I've kind of got some things that will kind of be more for later on in the year. And like when people ask us what to kind of get them as a gift and things, I generally just say money so we can buy th things throughout the year that they need more then than now. So yeah that's for her i did also pick up this for her and i think again it's probably going to be not quite the right thing for right now but hopefully one day it will be um and it's just you've probably seen this before um a little device thing with cards and you put the card in and it says whatever the card is so this is the little device and then there's like different kind of themed cards. There's lights, I don't know why it keeps just going off. So there's like animals, dog, cat, they're like double sided as well. So there's like loads, loads and loads of different cards there. So hopefully, like I say, she can kind of get into that and that will help her with her communication and things. What else do we get for the sofa? Got these magnetic letters. That was just a random thing that I just saw on Amazon that I was just like, that might be quite fun to like play with on the fridge and stuff. And then got her this set of cutlery from Doddle because she has a difficult time with um, her kind of dexterity with her hands and stuff and I've seen these recommended by occupational therapists so I thought we would just give them a bash it's just kind of like a little stocking filler type thing to go in that um, which by the way we're not doing that um, may not even do it again for another well year or two don't really know depends when they kind of get to that point where they get things like that but at the moment they don't so i'm not adding any extra pressure to myself the rest of the stuff in there is enzos then the last thing we've got like i say predominantly for soph but for both of them was a tony box i was so torn whether to get a tony box or a yoto and i ended up going with a tony just because i thought at least with these like kind of characters you can use them for like role playing and stuff as well. So like she can put the Gruffalo in her little camper van <laughs> um, and stuff. So yeah, got these when they did Black Friday deal. So um, I got the box with the creative, I got the Gruffalo, Paddington and one of the like song ones because she really, really likes nursery rhymes and stuff like that. So that is everything we've pretty much got for Soph. And then for Enzo, like I said, we didn't get very much because he doesn't need much. We have loads of stuff anyway. Stuff kind of kept over from Soph and stuff like that. And obviously he has no idea, he's one. Um, so we've just kind of got a couple of little things just so he's got something. So we've got this set of wooden stacking blocks. It's like a spacey theme um, and they're also like little shape sorters as well which is adorable um got that in aldi a little while ago um i also got him a, a set of cutlery the babado bibadoo however you say it dip it spoons probably should have got these when i just started weaning him but i didn't so again just a little kind of little thing for him to have and then i got him something from la toy van as well just some little wooden animals you can like stack these and stuff 
think that's kind of the idea but you can just kind of play with them as they are do love a wooden toy <laughs> i have to say um and then i also got him this I mean, <laughs> when I saw this, I couldn't not get it. Obviously, his name is Enzo, and he is quarter Italian. Um, so, <laughs> I couldn't not get him Enzo's pizza van, could I? I mean, it was rather expensive for how small it is. I think I got it when there was a code on, and it was like £13, but even so, that's quite expensive. So, that. And then the only other thing I... We got for him, which I don't know if I'll be able to get it out. Um, so this is actually the only thing I managed to pick up in the Aldi wooden toy event thing, which everyone went mental for. What was that about? People were queuing up in the morning to go and buy wooden toys. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Anyway, there wasn't anything I particularly wanted. I did want to have a mooch, but I didn't because I didn't make it there before it had all bloody gone. Um, but Joe did go in the evening of the event on his way home from work and said that they had this in there and I thought that would be quite fun and it's just a little activity board and it's like a pilot station kind of theme which I thought was very apt considering <laughs> my husband is in the RAF so yeah that is that that is everything that we have picked up for them like I say it's not anything crazy obviously the tony box is a massive thing um in terms of like cost and it's something that i didn't know whether they would appreciate yet but again like i say kind of throughout the year um and onwards i mean it's, it's one of those things isn't it that kind of they can just have it for years and just get new things for it and i just i like things like that that kind of grow with them and they can like pick out the things and listen to the stories and stuff so yeah that's kind of what we got i may pick up a couple of little odd bits to go with the tray um just some like little little crafty bits um but nothing crazy um so yeah i think that's it so i'm gonna try and put all this stuff away now because it's a bit of a mess and go and edit some of one of the previous vlogs while wow, I've got 10 minutes. <laughs> right, so I thought I would actually continue this vlog um, and include some other stuff in it purely for the people that voted like no on my Instagram poll. Because there was a few people that said, just make this like vloggy stuff. The majority of people did say include the Christmas stuff, which obviously I did earlier on. But I also thought I would do a little try on haul in this as well, because I ordered some stuff from New Look the other day and it was meant to come on Monday, like my baby carrier, and it's arrived today. So that's really exciting. So I've got a couple of dresses, a couple of tops, and a pair of leggings, I think. I think that's everything that I ordered. Yeah, oh, and a pair of tights, but that's not very exciting. So I'm gonna try it all on for you in a bit. I'm not really sure where to do it. I would just do it in the lounge, but obviously the big window and people walking past i don't know maybe we'll just do it and i'll just have to keep ducking <laughs> in and out of shot let's let's go get set up okay so i might need to stop um shortly and change my battery but i'm gonna wait until it actually dies um so i did get a couple of bits in store recently as well so i'm gonna include some of them just because i was waiting for a day i actually had like makeup on and stuff to kind of properly try them on and see what they look like. So I'm gonna start with the boring basics, leggings. So at the moment, I'm still wearing my maternity leggings and my youngest is very almost a year old now, but let's be honest, maternity leggings are just so comfortable. Um, so they have just stuck around I'm not being funny, but they keep my belly warm, so yeah. But they're getting a bit threadbare now, and I just... I feel like I'm at that point now where I'm like, okay, I want to just wear clothes that make me feel good. Um, obviously, I'm still breastfeeding at the moment, so it has to be breastfeeding friendly, but I want it to be stuff yeah. that still looks nice. I find a lot of breastfeeding stuff is, like, for, like 
pregnancy as well, so it's maternity slash nursing stuff. And it's just not flattering because if you're breastfeeding, you're not pregnant anymore, generally. So it's just, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start, like I say, with the basics. I'm gonna go with the leggings and then I'm gonna show you a couple of like the tops. A couple of them are quite cropped. So I have actually grabbed a pair of jeans just to try those on with in case they look a bit weird with leggings. And then I will go on to the two dresses because I think that's all it is. It's leggings, one pair of leggings, mostly tops, two dresses, and actually a really cute jumper. That I'm just really not sure about. So let's, let's get trying on. Okay, hopefully I don't get demonetized, but I'm probably gonna do this kind of like Rosie Henshaw style and just take off the top and like chop and change them with the bonds. So, first note and first bum, um, if I'm being completely honest, the leggings. So they're nice, they're high-waisted, they're a decent thickness, I think. I don't think they are see-through, I don't know if they're squat-proof or not. I'm not sure if you can even see, but they just don't fit nicely around here. Like, I can feel the seam. Why can I feel it as much as I can? I'm not entirely sure. And it's all like baggy. You know when you've got like a really old pair of shit Primark leggings and they just go all baggy around the crotch? It's like that and they're brand new. So um, they, they're going back. Um, so I'm gonna have to pop my jeans on, I think, to show you the other bits. Okay, so I have just fought my jeans on. They're actually the only pair of jeans I own at the moment. Um, like, at all. <laughs> Not even just ones that fit me. Like, literally the only pair I own. And they're about 10 million foot too long. But that aside, I love them. They are the Asda, is it Wonder Fit or something like that? I don't know. They're just super, super stretchy, super sucky in -y. Fucking beautiful. Actually skinny and high-waisted as well. And that's what I like. Nothing happened. Did it? Do you want up? Do you want up? Do you want to sit in the chair and watch? Right, okay then. So, gonna go with one of the tops I got in store first. This one, I think is gonna go back because I'm just not sure about it. It's a cropped, khaki, ribbed top, long sleeved. I'm not very good with hauls, I apologize. Not very good with fashion in general. Oh Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I'm not very good with vlogs either. Um, but yeah, it's like a kind of acid wash, not that it really comes across on camera. And I'm just not sure about it. Yeah, so. Apologies, I have obviously got a nursing bra on and it's not, not the cutest. But uh, <laughs> we're working what we got at the minute. Hello, people driving past. Um, so yeah. I think it's just a little bit too cropped for me and the whole acid wash thing of it. I'm just not sure about, but otherwise I like it. I like the neckline. Uh, I like I like everything else about it. It's just the color for me. I'm just not sure about. Um, and I thought that when I saw this other one, hence why I've ordered two khaki long sleeve crop tops. But now this one's here, I'm not sure about this one either because it's, like I say, it's very similar. It's just a ribbed khaki long sleeve crop top. Um, I think this one's gonna be the same sort of crop as well, which is a bit bit of a bummer. But it's a really weird material. I'm not sure if you can see, it's like really shiny and slinky. Not sure I like that. It's almost like a swimming costume. And um, oh no, instant no when I try to get that over my head because that's a lot tighter than I'd like it to be. Oh, oh hell no, hell no. I literally look like I'm going to gymnastics or something and I'm not about that, nope, nope. <laughs> Quick drink, um, yeah, it wasn't just the material of that one, it felt really tight and I don't like that. This one on the other hand is the complete opposite. It's just a big oversized t-shirt um, just says California Freedom Tour on it. I don't know if that's a band tee or not. And you know what? I'm not one of those people that's just like, why are you wearing a band tee when you don't even listen to the band? 
I may have listened to one of their songs once upon a time and liked it, but may not listen to them now. Who cares? I just like the t-shirt. Um, and I feel like that's what it should be about. And this, I'm pretty sure I love. I'm pretty sure I'll end up wearing it to bed. But that's okay. Um, yeah, it is quite long. Uh, I'm not sure what size I got this in in the end. Yeah. Oh, do you like it? Oh, I got it in a 12. I think I got most things in a 12. Um, and yeah, I'm five foot two for reference. And it's like mid thigh. What do you say? What do you say? He's in his high chair and just like having a bit of a whinge. Do you want some peas? So yeah, that's staying. Using moi, s'il vous plaît. Okay, so on to another ribbed <laughs> cropped up. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, in a gorgeous berry burgundy colour. Um, and this is like a wrap front, so I thought this would be a good like breastfeeding kind of top. Yeah. I think it's the kind of top because it's cropped, you might need to tuck into like a skirt or something. I don't own a skirt, so I can't try it on with one. But I think that works okay. I mean, I can get a boob out. It's nice and stretchy, but equally kind of covers me at the same time. I really like these nursing bras, by the way. They're only from Amazon, just a basic pack. I think it was like gray, black and white, was it? Oh no, gray, black and nude. And they're actually like a nice V-neck, which I find works under a lot more things. A lot of other nursing bars like come up to here, which is fine, like, and it covers you up, but it just doesn't work under a lot of tops. But this, these ones, I quite like. Um, I'll try and link them down below if I can, um, in case you're interested, but yeah. I think I like that. I think it is a little bit like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, but I could, I could just wear like some kind of like lacy cami or something underneath. Not that I own one of them either, but um, yeah. Let me know down below, by the way, if you um, have any thoughts on any of these things, um, apart from the things that are like definite no's. <laughs> like those khaki tops, I don't know why, they just don't work and the leggings are horrific. Um, so while we're on burgundy crop tops, <laughs> we'll go on to this one that I picked up again in store. This one is less cropped, which we like, and it is much darker, more of a purple um, than the other one. And I do really like this because it's like just super stretchy and nice. Like you say, it's actually no, it's not even a crop top really, is it? It is kind of, well, like where mid-rise jeans would come, if you like, um, and it's just ribbed got like that kind of lettuce hem thing which i quite like makes it a bit more something to it it is just a basic to be honest but i quite like it um and i need to, really need to revamp my wardrobe including basics so there is that um actually no there is a couple of other things they're on the dining table Una memento. okay so the first one i actually got in a mix and match thing with this one, it, they were two for 18 pound. I'm still not 100% sure on this because it's navy. I'm more of a black and white stripe kind of gal, um, but I like a stripe nonetheless. But yeah, it's just a basic, again, long sleeve stripey tee. So um, yeah, I, d I literally own two, no, three long sleeve tops. That's it. Um, so. Move the max, wax warmer away from the child. It's not on, but I can imagine him twatting himself in the face with it. Yeah, so I really need to like fill a lot of gaps now. Can we not? Because we're going to pull tags off, aren't we? So yeah, the other thing. Oh my goodness. Who, who said to do this with a child around? Um, that would be me. Uh, so yeah, the other thing I picked up in store was a body, actually. Um, again, khaki. And again, crossover, and I quite like this. I saw this on, I think her Instagram name is the breastfeeding wardrobe or something like that. Again, I'll link it, link her down below because she's just so, so nice. I think she's actually pregnant with her second baby at the moment, so she's not making as much content. Um, but she shares a lot of things that are kind of normal clothes that can be breastfeeding friendly rather than 
just specifically nursing things and yeah. this is one of the things that she shared on a reel once and i was like that i love it so like i say it's just a crossover body easy to get a boob out of should you wish to do that um obviously because it's a body it's quite nice it's kind of tucked into things um yeah i quite like it it's ribbed it's cute i quite like khaki um not sure if it really goes with my coloring i'm a little bit overexposed at the moment so um, although i am very pale i don't think i'm quite this pale like it's coming off on camera so yeah let me know if khaki is my kind of color not really sure i don't know what suits me anymore to be honest hence <laughs> the sheer amount of clothes here but yeah anyways i think that one is a keeper so the last kind of top that i got from the online haul um, is this black and white stripey not top not jumper that in between you know like a knitted t-shirt if you will um this i love it's just me it's just me it's a normal length it's not cropped it's really nice and stretchy not tight it's ribbed it's a black and white stripe i just love it i just love it what can i say um i think black and white stripes and blonde hair just i love them um oh this is actually really really comfortable oh you know when you just put something on and it just feels like pajamas but it's not um love it uh, let's just see what the original price of this was 19.99 i think i got it with like a black friday code or something so it was a little bit less than that but i think actually that's a pretty good price so i think that is everything everything tops wise apart from this jumper so this is the last thing i got in store i love it it is honestly the softest jumper ever i have a massive sensory issue um with clothing and especially jumpers because most of them are literally made out of ants and i don't understand it um but this one literally feels like a kitten and i love it but the only thing is it's just a bit of a funny shape and I don't know if that's because I'm a funny shape slash height or what. But even on the model, to be fair, when I looked at it online, it doesn't look quite right on her. So I think they've made it a bit of a funny. It's very boxy. It's it's not cropped, but it's not full length. Like if it was cropped, it'd probably be like up here, which I think it'd be okay. Like if it sat on the top of high waisted jeans, but it's kind of like in between, and I'm not really sure. Like it was 25 quid, I think, which is a lot for a jumper. Although when it feels like a kitten, I can probably put the price to the side. But I just don't know if it looks right or just looks looks a bit odd. Let me know on that one. Um, and let's jump and try the dresses on. I'm gonna go off of camera for this because nobody needs to see my ass. Okay, you may or may not notice a theme throughout this haul. Um, apparently, there's only two colours that I like <laughs> at the moment. Burgundy and khaki. I mean, it is kind of autumn winter. Hopefully that's uh, justified. But yeah, so the next item is this kind of... Is it A-line? I'm not even sure. It's not bodycon, that's for sure. It is a lot looser, which is nice, because if it was bodycon, I don't think I would like it at the moment. Yeah, nice length, just above the knee ribbed again kind of that crinkly crepey material um, and again it's kind of got a crossover on the old bust it has got a stitch there which potentially could be undone to make it breastfeeding friendly should i decide to keep it i think if i were to undo it if i were to undo that stitch it could be just like a bit flappy do you know what i mean just flapping open all of the time and I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't know. I really don't know. But I quite like it. As like little winter dresses go, with a pair of tights and boots. I do quite like it. What did you think, Sunny Jim? Yes, fantastic. Um, so let's jump into the other one quick. Okay, so this next one, is very similar to that other one actually it's just a ribbed dress it comes up a tiny bit shorter 
couple of maybe like an inch or so further up which I don't mind but it is very much a bodycon dress which like I say I'm just not sure about at the minute um, I do absolutely love the colour I quite like the neckline actually as well it's quite um, nice um, the only problem is it's one of those like quite wide ones so it doesn't really cover the old bra straps um, I know there's that hack to kind of twisting it around your arm um, to make it so that it's not visible but I've never managed to get that to work um, maybe I'll have to give it a go I don't know let me know down below on this one I quite like it like I say it's yeah it's definitely breastfeeding friendly which a lot of dresses aren't especially in the winter time but again I just think with a pair of tights and some boots we'll be on to a winner which speaking of which I am actually going to try these tights on for shits and gigs um, because I don't own a pair of sheer tights, I only own like 200 denier or whatever because I'm about 70. Um, so I thought that some of the items that I have like dress wise with those kind of tights don't really work. So I thought I needed a pair of sheer tights in my life. Is there multiple? There's three pairs in here. Oh I didn't realise there was three. I thought it was just a single pair. <laughs> Well, that's kind of good. So let's try these on without snagging them <laughs> or flashing my knickers to the internet. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Oh, I feel like an old lady. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Absolutely. I'm not even going to bother putting the second leg in because do you know what? It's this. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not digging it. And I feel like, yeah, there's literally already a hole in them. And that's just from putting them on. And I shaved my legs yesterday. So it's not even like the stubble has ripped a hole in them. And I don't think you can return things like this. Even though technically they're faulty. They have a hole in them. Um, but yes, anyways, I'm going to love you and leave you now. Because my son, my son is not sure about life. Beautiful, that's from yesterday's dinner. That's a isn't it? Who's that? Who's that gorgeous boy? Oh, someone go for a run? And they're braver than I am. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to love you and leave you for now. I'm going to end this vlog here, actually, because I'm aware that it's probably quite long. So apologies about that. I will see you again soon. I don't know what the next video will be. Hopefully we'll be doing something a little bit more festive, won't we? Yes, we do so festive. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Like I say, let me know down below about any of the clothes and any opinions you may have. Unless they are mean, then keep them to yourself. Um, okay, thanks, bye. Love you all. Have a good day. Excuse me.